Hello my lovely friends, this is Marta from Drop of Sunshine. Welcome in my studio, my friends. Uh, today it's not actually the scheduled plan for me uploading the video, but I didn't want to leave you without anything uh, for the weekend. As some of you may know, uh, I've been recently dealing with uh, with my son not being well uh, so uh, I've stopped my online classes which are coming back very shortly and uh, not this Sunday but Sunday week after I will resume them and we're gonna be back into the schedule as normal now in meantime I just want to quickly show you this is the order I had delivered from the craft stash today and oh my gosh my friends you're not gonna believe that four of this die set this beautiful die set i've only paid 22 pound and how did i did it i've used the deal the craft stash is very brilliant if it comes for having those uh, flash sales deals uh, absolutely amazing so many times you can just spot this brilliant bargain like here and that basically cost me like 550 or six pound per each of those large set and have a look how beautiful they are this is just an example how how large die you get and this is just bargain this is a pure bargain so uh, keep a track i usually post a uh, post myself some posts on the facebook or uh, on the craft world whenever i spot a, such a great deal i'm always keen to to share it with you so you could make the most but keep on track of it because they're absolutely amazing deals now um i'm sorry for my voice it's a little bit rusty but uh, i do have a little bit sore throat today as well and nevertheless coming back to the video i'm i'm gonna be creating some baby cards this is some project i've been working on uh, i've designed myself some uh, some flower sleeves and some baby prams as well i have a couple elements uh, pre-cut here because i will be putting some cards together so i could put them on my ebay store and uh, i will be using this design paper of my own as well which is not really a baby design like as you can see it's a little bit distressed look but i think it will be a nice for a background something interesting and here I have those leftover pieces of the white cardstock which are uh, left after I was printing some 8x8 design papers myself and then I'm always chopping out those bits so I do have a quite big pile of them and they are just brilliant for printing the sentiments which I've did and i will be um, starting my cards nothing really difficult uh, this is one thought i want to share with you my friends if you ever creating any cards for the sale like you know you want to sell them in the multiples make sure the design is quite easy to follow because if you're gonna get a couple of the orders at the same time you really want to put that enough work to, for the card to look nice but then at the same time uh, you know uh, if you're if you're selling the card this is a certain amount you can price your card at so just make sure that all the value all the elements you put in a card all the work you have to do uh, it's matching up with with the price you are you are putting them up with because so many times and this is a beginner mistakes i was making at the same time i wasn't feeling like um, i was shy to actually ask the price of the card and then uh, at the end i was ending up creating a card which was like a couple of the hours of work the elements all the gems ribbons everything add up to the co cost of the price and i was basically when i put the final final price i was just selling them almost for free like for a few hours of my work i was just getting a few pounds for a card and it was just like absolutely like nowhere obviously i'm spending a lot of the time in a crafting space uh, this is becoming more and more a full-time work for me so uh, this is just something i want to share with you from my own experience that don't feel shy really uh, if you're starting selling your cards even on the craft fairs i know they've been locked down for a very long time uh, but everything will be slowly back in to normality so hopefully there will be some craft fairs or some there's lots of e craft fairs like going online like a, uh, some you know um, online markets you can sell your your card so make sure you really really uh, put that price so you could pay yourself as well uh, and and be rewarded of your of your hard work my friends now uh, so 
I have here, uh, this is a six by six ready-made card base. I've chopped the design paper just to uh, a little bit half an inch smaller square. So I will have this nice white border around and I think it will match up perfectly this white border, a really lovely match with the um, circle die uh, die cut i have here you can see on the right side and this uh, this circular uh, uneven like a torn edge um, die this is from the daisy may design you've been seeing it plenty times i just absolutely love it and i think it's such a nice design it's it's not very like a, a perfectly cut or circle shape it's a little bit uneven but i just love it i love it adds so much interest to your card and this stitching design as well is just enhancing it uh, even more here i've got some sentiments which i've print of my on my computer and this little uh, baby pram which i also designed i'm really really proud of it i must tell you this my friend this is a kind of a new thing uh, i will be sharing a little bit more uh, with you shortly um but uh, this is something new i've been working on recently as well uh, in the breaks in between when my son is sleeping uh, or he's having a nap so uh, i will be coming back with more exciting news for you uh, definitely in near future as well so stay tuned and uh, by the way uh, if you are new to my channel my friends i would love if you consider to subscribe to it or if you already subscribed thank you so very much for all your likes comments sharing this is absolutely amazing thank you so very much i'm, I'm really happy and blessed uh, to have such a wonderful support uh, from you my friend and now going back to the court i lift i slightly lift uh, this pram with the help of the double-sided foam just to give it a little bit dimension these cards they actually meant to be posted uh, through the mail so i'm just trying to, for them uh, to stay relatively flat so they could uh, match the uh, you know flat envelope and they would not require any box uh, but there's always a little good idea to have a, a drop of dimension because even though the card is really flat but then when you look on it this drop of the foam tape it really really makes a huge change uh, so your uh, your card is really looking much nicer here i just shaped a couple of the flowers just a teeny tiny bit i'm not gonna be turning them into three dimensional flowers but just something to have like a, an extra dimension as well and on top of the flowers i am adding a couple of the leaves as well and i think this uh, nice uh, drop of the greenery is just really making a change on this card this uh, drop of the lovely green color is just making um, this cherry on the top for for this card and here i am trying a couple of the pearls this is a new pearls i've just received in a post uh, i've ordered a bag for them they actually i've ordered them for my um, foam flowers i'm planning to create uh, but i was just just testing them however finally i've decided to use the uh, half pearls like this plasticky one uh, because I think the, the one with the gold rim, they were a little bit too large. And here is first of my card ready. I actually, I must tell you, my friends, I, I've created, I think it was eight cards in total uh, today. And I've just did them in, um, I could not tell you, but it was around two hours time. Uh, obviously, I didn't consider the time of the, you know, mm, cutting all those elements in advance this is something i had uh, done before but just to let you know uh, so uh, this is very very easy uh, designs and they really really easy to for mass producing and something i thought i will share because that would be a great idea for someone if you're looking for some some ideas for the sentiments uh, for the um, sorry uh, invite invitation for like a baby shower or something or or you're planning to get like a mass producing cards not only for the baby but if the parents would like to have like a um, thank you notes for 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 everyone this is also a great idea uh, just something quick and easy to to do just a couple dice i think if you have nice uh, die design uh, which i'm having here this circle uh, die from daisy made design they really makes a job and all the card is all of a sudden it looks much much uh, 
much nicer but if you don't have it then you can use your own regular like a circle die and by the way speaking of the regular die and uh, the craft stash is having a whole bunch of the creative dies this is something i have to mention my friends because they're absolutely amazing they really really good pr price point and you get a lot a lot a lot of them inside and there is this new um addition for the all the basic uh, shapes uh, with the thorn edge which i really really love i do have a couple of them i didn't purchase all of them yet but i do have quite a few i think four sets by now and they're absolutely lovely there's such a lovely designs and you really get um, a big value in the in the small price because they will be a very very you know versatile for many creations now going back to my card here i am just placing a blue pram for a change and i had a little bit thinking process like where to try uh, those sentiments i was actually uh, changing my mind a couple of times uh, but i eventually decide that uh, i'm going to be using three sentiment strips uh, so uh, for this card even though i do have a blue flowers and i use them for uh, for another card for this one i'm i'm just skipping the flower part because i want to have some differentiation not everyone like a customer who would like to buy the card they're looking for the cards with the flowers so i'm just trying to mix and match uh, between different designs so there will be some cards with the flowers and some without and this one i am adding the piece of the ribbon i think for the simply cards like that it's always a good idea to have at least one of those uh, kind of a dimensional elements to put on the card whether it's a, a piece of the ribbon like a ribbon bow or something or some pearl or something this is really adding the the value to your card and even though it does not take you a lot more time and effort and for the cost wise this is a very uh, very you know simple trick uh, but it's changing the look of the card the card instantly look much more more luxurious and it looks something like you know it's not as flat as just the paper so always think of the ideas what you can improve in your card uh, to to make it look a little bit better like here i am just adding the piece of the bow and that's really really changing the whole look of the card now another thing uh one tip i want to mention you my friends if you're gluing your uh elements to the paper make sure once you put the glue on make sure you actually use your finger to slightly smear the glue uh, from underneath because dependingly but some of the cases dependingly of the paper you're using if you're leaving a blob of the glue underneath the the elements that could moisture the paper underneath and once you glue your elements you have the whole card ready and then later on it turned out that this element it's get the little bit wonkish in the place where where you had this blob of the glue so this is a tip always try to smear the glue so it's not going to be an even surface now here uh, you can see a close-up look of the two cards i've created and a couple of the cards uh, i also made today uh, thank you so very much my friends i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i will be coming back with the next knife live classes next sunday uh, which is 15th of the august and i hope to see you there as well stay blessed and wishing you um, a wonderful weekend and see you shortly bye bye